Hey everybody, this is Jessica with Fried Technology and I want to share with you a couple of things that Google updated in your Google Drive this summer. So Google has always provided us with these little red squiggly lines to remind us of what poor spellers we are. <laughs> and we've always had an option in Google Docs to um, go back and change that spelling using uh, a built-in dictionary that can help us with the proper spelling. But what Google added this summer, which I think is pretty cool, is it added the blue squiggly line. So you might see that here in my document. And that blue squiggly line uh, denotes a grammar error. And so I can come back through here and I can uh, take a look at this word and find out what do I need to change. So the blue squiggly line is a new thing and it's a grammar checker. But what if I'm not sure what's wrong with this? I might need some assistance. I might need a suggestion from another source. So up in the toolbar, I have the tools menu. And we've always had the spelling and grammar option here. It just hasn't had that many available options in the menu. So now you see I have the spelling suggestions checked. We saw that with the red squiggly line. And we have now the grammar suggestions, and that's a check. And that's that little blue squiggly line. But right here at the top of the list is the spelling and grammar checker. So if I turn this feature on, I'm going to see this little sidebar menu. And it's almost like a little, um, a little wizard. And it's going to suggest changes to me. And I can accept them or ignore them. So notice it's blue here. It's color coded with blue because it's a grammar error. And it's suggesting to me that the word Googles needs an apostrophe. So I can choose to ignore or accept the grammar checker suggestion. And I'm going to go ahead and accept. And now we moved on to the red squiggly for productivity needing to be changed to productivity. So I'm going to accept that as well. And finally, it picked up on the word blog needing to be changed to the word blog. So I'm going to accept that change as well. And now I've cleared out all of my suggestions made by the grammar and spelling checker. Uh, and you notice that little window kind of went away on its own after the document was fully checked. If this was new to you and you want to know more about things you may have missed over the summer in your Google for Education account, follow us on social media. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn by searching at Fried Technology.